the road to Calvary. It's impossible to overemphasize the importance of the life of Jesus Christ. To the artist, he's the one altogether lovely, and each of these has a scripture. To the architect, he's the chief cornerstone. To the astronomer, he's the son of righteousness. To the baker, he's the bread of life. To the banker, he's the hidden treasure. All of this, Matthew 13, 44. To the builder, he's the sure foundation, Isaiah 28. To the carpenter, he's the door, John 10. He's all in all. To the doctor, he's the great physician. To the educator, he's the new and living way. To the farmer, he's the sower and the Lord of the harvest. To the believer, he's the son of the living God. Wow. Jesus Christ is the only perfect person in human history. When he appeared in John 8, 46, Jesus stated, Which of you convinceth me of sin? And not a one could ever point to one sin he'd ever committed. Of him, Peter said, he did no sin, 1 Peter 2, 2. Of him, Paul said, he knew no sin, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Of him, John said, in him was no sin, 1 John 3, 5. Of him, Pilate said, I find no fault in him, John 18, 38. Of him, Judas said, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood, Matthew 27, 4. And notice the word, the. It's not I have betrayed innocent blood, the innocent blood, the one forecast. And of course, he went out and hanged himself. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Galatians 4, 4 and 5. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give His life a ransom for many. Matthew 20, 28. Jesus didn't come just to teach. Watch this closely. Although He taught, that wasn't the purpose of his coming. If he had come to teach, he would have established a university and lived to a ripe old age. He didn't come just to heal, although he healed many people. Had Jesus come primarily to heal, he would have established a hospital and lived to a ripe old age. Jesus didn't come to set up some new ethical moral system if he had, he would have put on the robes of a judge and established a supreme court and lived to be a ripe old age. But he came to die. When the Messiah became incarnate, we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, John 1.14. Yet in his glory, his humility was profound. He who once sat on the throne of the universe came to earth lying in a manger, Luke 2. 12, recited earlier. Throughout his public ministry, he had not where to lay his head, Matthew 8. Because he had no money to pay the tax, he had to catch a fish with a necessary coin in its mouth, Matthew 17, 27. In his agony at Gethsemane, none of his friends would pray with him. And when he was arrested, they all forsook him and fled, Matthew 26. No one defended him at his trial. Wow. On the cross, the soldiers stripped away his only personal possessions, the clothes on his back, and then parted his garments, casting lots for them, whatever every man should take, Mark 15. When he died, his body had to be buried in a tomb belonging to Joseph of Arimathea, Matthew 27. No home, no money, no possessions, no defenders, not even a tomb of his own in which to lie. <laughs> 